Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 88 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> um, and we're back today. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, first of all, I would like to do something. Uh, I just set this thing up for Oak, but Jake reminded me that you can put other different tree types in there uh, by having it uh, designate certain saplings or uh, certain things. But you have to sort of uh, lock your input and stuff. <laughs> uh, that, that's cool that they have that. So you can lock it and then have it keep... Like I want to add some different trees to the mix so if I like put in these different corners that I want some different uh, saplings I can do this and then add you know some stacks of different saplings in here of course I'm gonna need at least one of each of these as well uh, and I have my my little crafting grid out here because the network's here, so I can just do this. Set that up to input them, and they should all stay full now. <laughs> and then I can lock it uh, so that it if it runs out of one of these, it won't allow another sapling type in there. So we should always have our extra <laughs> our extra saplings nice okay so we should be able to see uh yeah you can see them already replacing the the saplings with the different saplings so cool beans i guess i could i could help it by you know tearing down some of these in the corner and it should replant them. There we go. Oh boy, the dark oak sure is hard to tell from the regular oak. It's uh, the closest resemblance go let's get some more of these out nice. uh, so that should get us some other woods coming in uh, in case in case we want to build something I do like building in spruce that's why I told uh, chose spruce uh, dark oak is good too but um, it's just so easy to get. <laughs> I like dark oak as the wood that I chop down because they grow so fast and you get so much wood per tree that that's just the ones that I like. <laughs> I like them. I also put in a little pathway. I kind of built up a little wall around here to, to help protect <laughs> my stuff from from bad things because uh, that this is pretty far away and it's not lit up or anything uh, so I'm gonna have to like take care of that too but yeah I um I also did the thing in the nether oh let me go show you um I went into the nether and I installed all of my laser grills on there and I got so I have 36 laser drills on my nether um, on my nether or laser base. So I got all 36 in, and they all have upgrades. Uh, so yeah, it was as hard as I thought it would be. Um, I had all the materials and stuff. It was just a matter of sitting there waiting for it to 
to get made up because it takes a while when you're making 24 or something. So yeah, um, let's let's go have a look because uh, there's something cool that I want you to see. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, like I checked, I haven't had that up for very long. Uh, and I checked a couple of days ago and I know I had like, I had 48 and then I remembered that I didn't chunk load it and then I came back later and I had 50 something so I could see that it was going up. So that's good. But I hope after I did this, I went and checked my ancient debris. And check this out. I've got almost 500 now. I totally have all the netherite. <laughs> so this is good. This is good. I can start building a lot more with netherite now. So I could probably even uh, tell it to process this and, and just leave like a couple of stacks in there or something. Totally set that up. What does it have to does it have to go in? Is it like I think it's the induction smelter that it goes in that you can double it? Yeah. So you can double it here. Um or the enrichment chamber can double it. Or the crusher can triple it. What would you do with that? Uh, and then you put that in an enrichment chamber. Huh. Well, that's not... There's. We have a crusher and we have an enrichment chamber. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to triple triple all the stuff and things so that'd be cool uh, but I would definitely like for it to leave uh, some ancient debris in there some type of setup that will monitor the level you can do this with uh, fine storage I'm pretty sure there's probably an equivalent way to do this in uh, applied energistics as well, because this is something that's a feature that's been in for a long time, way back when applied energistics was, was uh, applied energistics and there was no refined storage. Uh, there was still this way to do things with um, a detector. You could monitor the system, uh, an item in the system, and based on the levels of that, you can have it emit a redstone signal and, and like shut a machine off. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, so let, let's go look at our mechanism setup and see how, how is our we could just get a crusher. We could just get like a whole new setup, a crusher enrichment chamber setup that will just take in our ancient debris. Let's do this. Uh, crusher, the crusher. Oh, let's. Yeah, yeah, I want to take, well, I don't know, we probably won't need a basic crushing factory, but just a plain crusher might work since we're just working with one specific item. Um, so yeah, I think, oh, we need the two buckets of lava. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
do 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 I keep forgetting about this um, Um, I wish there was a way that you could get to that from, <laughs> from your, your stuff, uh, but there's no way to actually see the fluids from the grid. Oh no, I killed some raiders earlier and I have the, the doodad now. Do I have any milk? No, but I have a box, bucket of apples. <laughs> that helps. Oops. Oh, I gotta have it in there. I just don't know. Well, maybe we could just have it be basic crushing factory and then what was it an enrichment chamber basic enrichment factory start and there we go and a detector detector I don't have these uh, auto-crafted, but these are just um, pretty amazing. See, I don't, um, I don't know what this would be called in a. If it would be a detector. light detecting fixture. Oh, just it's been so long since I used applied energistic. There's the meteorite compass. Oh, I have no idea what it would look like though. There's the wireless receiver, but I'm pretty sure there is something similar to a detector. This is a level emitter. That's what it is. The level emitter is the applied energistics version of uh, the detector. Oh, look, it even has an energy level emitter. So that's pretty cool. So you can use this roughly the same way I can use a detector. Uh, didn't I make one? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, click. I had to control click stuff. So there we go. A detector. Boom. Basic crushing factory. There. And there. Uh, now, I want to bring the ancient debris in and get the, um, the, the netherite scrap out. Uh, so this should automatically uh, take in from the left. I want the eject on and then go out through the back. Looks good to me. And this one, we want to go out to the left. Do we want to come, do we want to come in through the back as well? Or I like going in on the top, but I guess it really doesn't matter. It would probably be easier to go in through the back though, since I will have a cable here and one there, then I can just pop one here and then it will be good. So, oh yeah, and then I need the detector. 
And what I usually do is, uh, instead of using a cable, I could just put the detector right here. Okay, and then I would need an importer. And an exporter. So I can still got some of those. Uh, so the importer goes right there, and our exporter goes right here. And I just want it to, well, first, I want it to only work with a redstone signal. <laughs> That's important. Turn that on uh, before you do it. And now we can get it to monitor our uh, ancient debris by putting this in. Uh, we want it to emit a signal if it's over like let's leave like 128 emit a signal when above the amount it is above the amount so it should start sending our ancient debris in here and then we get the three that automatically go into here and just damn uh, of course, we will need upgrades for these. Awesome! Uh, and, let's see, I might need to get some upgrades for this importer because, well, I don't know, it's going pretty slow. Let's just go ahead and make our upgrades. I'm pretty sure, probably speed upgrades for them and energy upgrades nice oh yeah I love automating things okay we can put this ancient debris away okay, so there's our speed upgrades and there's our energy upgrades and like one thing I always forget that you can do with a uh, mech is you can just like right click these on or shift right click and install all of those at once Woo! look at it go uh, or you can actually go into your upgrades tab uh, and lock them in here and then they they install uh like that <laughs> oh look uh yeah it only supports energy and speed is there another one over here energy and speed okay yes yeah, that's good uh so uh what we probably need to do here <laughs> is yeah definitely get the speed upgrade coming out stack there we go and oh wait speed upgrades there we go and that should oh yeah there we go So now, as long as there's more than 128, that they can't get out fast enough. Okay, let's look at ancient. Oh yeah, look at it. It's already chewing up <laughs> 200 of them. Nice. Oh, I love the crunchies. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. Now we should, if we had like 500, and I'm keeping, so 400 times 3, I should have 1,200 scrap. Oh. That is, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is nice. Alright, let's get out of here.
<laughs> Mission accomplished. We we got the nether the nether um or laser base all up and online and we're dealing with all the scrap. while also keeping a small base of the ancient debris in case we need it for something else because some of the some of those recipes um they actually call for the ancient debris not just um oh there's a lot <laughs> and not just the scrap or the netherite ingot so, I need some milk. Um, one thing that I forgot to think about is milk. Let me grab my buckets out because no, I used that lava earlier. My buckets. Um, yeah, I can carry more milk on me because in this mod pack, you can put milk in a jar. See? Uh, so I could carry around 16 milk bottles instead of a bucket. <laughs> and, and then, you know, and then I might have some for if I get withered as well. So that would be good. Because withering, uh, withering is no good. I still haven't finished this. Uh, think of a jobber. Look at all my dark oak trees. I had them planted because I, I had been having to chop them down. So I chop them down and replant them chop them down and replant them <laughs> i could probably go ahead and tear them all down now uh, now that i have that tree bar oh boy i just love how this place is coming along i mean every time i add something i'm like oh man this is so perfect <laughs> this is great uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of time tidying up my path, uh, maybe putting some more detail in over here. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. Yeah. It'll be great. Um, I'm not sure what i want to do next uh i was thinking like i would love to have just a massive massive reactor set up with some turbines i don't know what it would i would power with the whole that stuff but it, it would be good to just set up big huge factory <laughs> to to run all the stuff i know this is great i have like this one building oh no okay uh, but it would just be good to be able to sprawl out I have all these compact machines oh by the way uh yeah when i was playing around with the reactors um i lost power <laughs> this is my my guess is i lost power somehow so my ether gas setup is not working <laughs> the the wither i think is still in stasis but he's been kind of nudged out a little bit and i think he uh he summoned some skeletal dudes, like serious amount, like probably close to 10 skeletal archers are in there. So I can, I can go in there and maybe survive long enough 
to get back out. <laughs> Even, you know, I don't know, I need to have some type of force field. Or I could, I could take a battery and a, a crusher, a mob crusher in there. Set down that mob crusher, maybe put, get an upgrade and load it. And hope that it ticks long enough. Uh, just set it down and then leave. And then hope when I come back, they're dead. Um, yeah, but let let's let me show you. Yeah. Oh, it's just him. Oh, he's loose. But there's this. But he's summoning them. I guess. Oh. Why, why are you still, ouch, uh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't withered, why did it re-wither me? I, d I don't understand that, um, okay, but, I, I died in my own base. That's fine. Oop. I haven't died in a while, so I guess I just had that one coming. <laughs> Sonnet and Julie. You go up there. And the grid. Uh, I find that you can shift click these guys in if you can see their slot over here. Like, I wouldn't have been able to put those in had they been all the way, had I all been all the way scrolled up to the top. So I can take this guy off, scroll up here, and it won't, it won't left click over, but if I can see the slot, it goes right over. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to die. I was able to get in and out of there safely. Um, well, somewhat safely. I was taking damage, but I never died from the wither because it always wore off. But it, it, I wasn't even in there and it reapplied the wither to me, so... We'll get this chest, this barrel filled one day, I, I think. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye!